How many here have ever been to a rock concert or music concert? Anybody? A lot of people. Okay, so uh, I grew up in the 1980s and 90s, and uh, I saw stars like U2. Has anyone heard of U2? Uh, Billy Joel, yes. Alton John, Whitney Houston. And, you know, it's, it's a common practice that when uh, there is a musical concert with a rock star, there's always an opening act, right? An opening act before the main event. You know, someone who's lesser known or up and coming that is used to kind of warm up the crowd, get the crowd into a mood for the moment, for the moment of the main act to come on stage. Sometimes it takes a long, long time, right? For that main act to come and it seems like forever that these opening acts are going. So, you guys, this is kind of, Father Dindo's trying to give you an imperfect kind of analogy, but John the Baptist was the opening act for our Lord Jesus Christ, performing his role in the drama of our salvation history. Now, John the Baptist, as we heard in the Gospel today, his task was to prepare the people. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. From another musical I love, okay? The coming of the Messiah, the coming of the Messiah. The Lord, John the Baptist, prepared the way of the coming of the Messiah. That would be the great moment when God would fulfill his covenant with Israel. From the beginning of John's Gospel today, John the Baptist plays this central role in revealing Jesus to the people as both the Word of God and the Messiah and also the Anointed One, right? As we encounter John today, he is entering the highest point in his ministry. He's pointing to Jesus, saying, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. John is like, look, there he is, the guy I've been talking about. John says, I do not know Jesus, but the one who sent me told me that I would see the Spirit come down upon him, the one that would baptize with the Holy Spirit. So the authority of John the Baptist comes from our Lord God to proclaim the God's honest truth without any fear. John boldly claims at the end of the gospel, that this is the Son of God. Just think about that for a moment. This is the Son of God. It means that Jesus is God. And that's mind-blowing. Whoever, whoever heard of a man who was also God? You know, that was never known before Jesus Christ. God was always the Spirit, right, in heaven. And he was always up there speaking and everywhere, you know, everywhere, but not as a person. So, John the Baptist was saying, here he is, right in front of us, speaking and doing miracles. Jesus is Lord. And so, you guys, let's be like John the Baptist. That is our main job, too, to shout from the rooftops like John the Baptist did, who our Jesus is and what our Jesus has done for us to save us because he loves us. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, to save us so he would so we would never die so that we would always have this hope of eternal life that is why i for one i'm going to tell you guys for this the truth i for one am not afraid of death nobody should ever be afraid of death if you're a christian yes we have to leave this beautiful world i know and we leave the world and we leave the people we love behind us temporarily you guys I'm telling you this temporarily because if we die in Christ we all also rise with him this is the good news of the Catholic Christian faith death is not the end it's only this beautiful beginning to a new life in heaven where all the faithful departed all of our loved ones who died before us all the angels and saints and who had you know this up this this vision, beatific vision, that is what we're looking forward to if we're good and faithful Christians, right? So I'm going to share a story with you guys. I had this opportunity to visit a very sick man this week who is dying of cancer. And what struck me so much was this guy 
was exactly my age, all right? And his body was just withering away. He had his good days and his bad days. He had great days where he can walk and talk like the day I came. And other days he's just sick, super sick as a dog, can't do anything. And yet the amazing thing is that he knows the good news of Jesus Christ. He is confident in Jesus, and he is a tower of strength, so unafraid of death. He was peaceful and calm. He wasn't upset like I thought he might be or losing it. You know, he was not angry. You know, some people are so angry sometimes or spiteful because of their illness. But this guy, he was at peace with his disease, that peace that was life-giving to him that spiritual life-givingness. And that was helping all the people around him because he was talking to them, to his loved ones. He was giving them cause of joy for their own faith because he was living his faith, knowing that God has a plan for all of us, you know, on earth. And the Lord was healing him of his spiritual wounds on earth so that he could be with God forever in heaven because he was so faithful to God. It was so beautiful, you guys. I was so touched by this, to see this. How much of this man who had every, you know, had every uh, reason to just give up, he wasn't. He believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. He believed in the resurrection. He believed in eternal life. This is the good news. This is the good news we always talk about in the church. I remember being a kid, being so confused when the priest would stand up here saying, you know, believe in the good news, spread the good news. I said, what is the good news, you know? What is it? What the heck is it? The good news, you guys, is that Jesus rose from the dead, and if we believe in Jesus, we also can rise with him. That is the amazing news, eternal life. Basically, we, like John the Baptist, need to be that opening act that opening act for our Lord Jesus Christ, telling everybody we see how great Jesus is, how great the things that Jesus has done right here, right now on earth for us, for everyone, and how Jesus rose to new life and having given us this way to the truth, to the life, to follow him. Jesus is our salvation. That's the good news. So what happened was I gave this man his last rites, he knew Jesus, and he was certainly had that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And you know what? That was it. That was everything. His personal relationship with Jesus Christ was everything to him. It gave him peace. It gave him such great peace and joy. So that's the good news, that Jesus converts our hearts and saves us because he loves us. So if we're not there yet, we're working on it, we're all working on being saints in heaven, don't be afraid to witness to Jesus. Don't be afraid to share your own life story given by Jesus. It will help our brothers and sisters around you who are suffering or down or depressed to be ready for meeting Jesus at the main event. St. Mary, you be Jesus' opening act. You be Jesus' opening act.